Hi guys, this is Teacher SP and welcome to my channel. So today, I will be teaching you on how to get the area of a trapezoid. But before that, don't forget to click the subscribe button and then like, comment, and hit the notification bell para po updated kayo sa lahat ng mga videos tutorial ko. So, pag sinabi natin guys na trapezoid, I have here on the board the figure of a trapezoid. So, if you are going to identify the parts of it, on this upper part, this is what we call the base one, which is the smaller yeah. base. And this is what we call the base two, which is the longer base. And if I'm going to draw a broken line here, this is what we call the height. So, therefore, there are three given there. So, if you are going to get the formula for the area of a trapezoid, area is equal to the height. This is the height times the quantity, the sum of the two sides, which is the base 1 and the base 2, right? So, base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. So, this is now the area of a trapezoid. Where A is the area, H is the height, B sub 1 is the smaller base, B sub 2 is the longer base, and which is this on the, the lower side, and divided by 2, which uh, ang 2 ay constant. So if we are going to apply the formula of a trapezoid here in our example, find the area of a trapezoid whose bases are 3 meters and 5 meters and the altitude. So when you say altitude, the another term for the height is what do you call the altitude. So if you use the altitude, another term for that is the height. Okay? So, and the altitude is 2.25 meters. And the unknown there is you need to look for the area. So if you are going to draw the figure of a trapezoid. Okay, so the area of a trapezoid is whose bases are 3 meters and 5 meters. You don't know where are you going to put the 3 and 5, right? So we know the 3 is shorter than 5, right? So you have to write here 3 meters and this is 5 meters and the altitude is, that is what we call the height, so you have to draw a broken line here. So this is what we call the 2.25 meters. So we have already three given, so that's the right time that we are going to use our formula, which is area is equal to the height times the quantity of base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. So area is equal to, what is the value of our height? So, the value of our height is 2.25 times the quantity of base 1. And the base 1 is 3 plus 5 divided by 2. So, you have to do the operation first inside the parenthesis. So, when you're going to add 3 plus 5, 2.25 plus 8 divided by 2. So, area is equal to, okay, let us do it manually. For example, you don't have calculator. And how are you going to do that? So, you need to multiply 2.25 times 8, okay? So, 8 times 5 is 40, carry 4. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20, carry 2. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 2 is 18. So, there are two decimal places there. So, 1, 2 cancel here. So, area is equal to 18 divided by 2. So, we know that 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. And the unit of measurement is meter per second squared. Or, that is 9 square meter. So, take note, class. When we are talking about the base, ang you whatever is the unit there, meter man or centimeter man dyan, 
So, you are going to identify meter. Wala siyang square. But if you are talking about the area, yun na po ay may meter squared or another way of saying it that is square meter. So, take note of this. This is the process we're in if you want to get the area of a trapezoid. Given the smaller base, the, short, the longer base, and the height. Okay, so I hope, guys, that you have learned something today and have a great day, everyone.